Hello, I'm Lena Taro. Let's continue to use the TI-89 to create a residual plot. We'll continue to work with the data from the previous example. That data was for the used Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4 trucks. In list 1, we had the miles driven, and in list 2, we had the price. So to get our residual plot, we need to begin by putting our residuals in list 3. To do this, I'm going to go to the top. I'll hit second and the minus sign. Notice it says var link above it. So this is the variables that are in our calculator. And if I scroll down far enough, I'll see a list called residuals right here. I hit enter and enter, and it places the residuals in list three. Notice if I scroll over to the right, we also have the residuals listed here in a list called resid off to the right after list six. But I like seeing them in list three since it's right beside my variables, my X list and my Y list. Now let's create our residual plot. To do this, let's hit F2, plot setup, and we'll turn off our old stat plot uh, by hitting F4. Um, it's nice not to clear that in case we want to use it later. I'll go down to plot 2, choose F1 define. We're going to be creating a scatter plot. A residual plot is a scatter plot of the residuals. Our X's are in list 1. I have to make sure I hit alpha to get the alphabetic characters off these keys as I'm pressing them. So my X's are in list 1. And my Y's, I could hit second, the minus sign, and go and get the residuals that way. But since I went to the trouble of putting them in list 3, let me type list 3 here. Once again, making sure I hit the alpha key as I type in the word list. I'll hit enter and we can see that the plot's been created and defined. Before we hit zoom data, let's make sure that our equation, our regression equation has been turned off. We don't want to plot the regression equation across our residual plot. So let's escape out of here. I'll hit diamond y equals and notice our residual plot has a ch our excuse me our regression equation has a check mark beside it. We need to uncheck that. Um, I don't want to just erase it because I might want to use it later, but I'll uncheck it so it doesn't graph on our residual plot. Now I'm ready to choose zoom data. To do that, I hit F2, choose option nine, zoom data, hit enter, and we have our scatter plot. Uh, we have our residuals. Uh, some of them are above this horizontal line and some are below the line. Ones that are above the line have a positive residual. Ones that are below the line have a negative residual. And any point that would lie exactly on the line would have a residual of zero, um, meaning that the point fell exactly on the regression line. If we hit trace, uh, F3, we can actually uh, see some of the residuals. We can see trucks that were uh, less expensive than what was predicted by the regression line and ones that were more expensive, like this one. Uh, this was more expensive than what would be predicted by the regression line.